Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan, and in my video, I drink Japanese sake and introduce both in Japanese and English. And then, of course, you know, drinking sake gets me drunk, feeling bad, and having so much fun. And I do hito rigoto, which means talking to myself. And today I'm drinking very special and my favorite Shinshukire from Nagano Prefectures. And then I want to talk about the performance result of me investing into the S&P 500 mutual funds, uh, index funds in the US from Japan. So in the last 21st, 21 months, uh, I've been putting the, uh, the same amount of money into the uh, index funds, the S&P 500. By the way, it's getting so popular in Japan, investing into the SP500 index and then making money and everything. And then I, I do that as well for the sake of the um, topic that I can talk about on the social media. And then now I do every month that, oh, this is my return and everything while I'm you know drinking sake on YouTube as well. So this is the 21st month of the result. And let's see. So, so far the valuations, uh, 678,976 Japanese yen. The reason why, you know, this is the amount is because I put the same amount of money that I put every month into Tsumitate Nisa. I also make the video as well. I don't want to use my time in this video to explain what the Tsumitate Nisa is. So if you're interested, uh, please um, take a look at my another video. So like I, I've been comparing which, you know, uh, mutual fund is actually performing better, either BT or BTI. And from the Japanese perspective, and I've been doing that in the, over the last 21 months. But so for the S&P 500, the valuation of it is so far 678,976 Japanese yen. The ROI is 8.2% plus. Amazing result. Maybe you know the super weak Japanese and contributed to this one because uh, with this one, I need to use my Japanese yen to put the money into and invest into S&P 500. I've been doing that, like I said, in the last 21 months. That means a year ago, two years ago, the Japanese yen was much stronger, but now Japanese yen is much weaker. And I can only see the performance results in the Japanese yen. So even though uh, S&P 500 has been you know, down compared to the beginning of this year, but well, Japanese yen becoming weaker and weaker. So the result in JPY would be much, much stronger, which is crazy. But you know, I'm here in Japan investing into the S&P 500. So yeah, at least this is what I, what I would I get if I wish for all the money and everything. But the entire purpose of me doing this one is to see after 30 years or 40 years, can I actually make enough money, me doing this one in the next 35 years, 45 years, so that by the time I retire, would I have enough money to enjoy my life or not? So I intend to this, do this, make reports every month for the next upcoming 35 years or 45 years. So we'll see what's gonna happen. But let me remind you that my channel is all about drinking sake and then getting drunk. So my favorite, favorite, Shinshukire, that's the name of the sake from Nagano Prefectures. The name of the sake brewery is called Okazaki Shuzo. 
The smell is fantastic. Very high quality, um, fresh, kind of fruity smell. But you know, once you smell it, you can tell that the quality is much, much better than you know those regular sake. And the flavor is very quiet, clean, but juicy and sparkling sensations on my tongue and a little bit bitterness on my you know tongue as an aftertaste. Amazing Japanese sake. I am not kidding. So if you're coming to Japan or if you live in Japan, if you see this Shinshu Kirei sake, no doubt buy it, drink it, you're gonna love it for sure. And like among other, you know, Shinshu Kirei sake, this one is a little bit higher rank. Um, it, that's why it's called Jumai Dai Genjo 39. That means they polished to the level of the that the remaining portion of the rice is only 39%. And then they use Miyama Nishiki rice. Amazing. So yeah, this is my recommendation, no doubt. But if there is any sake that you think is really good, I please let me know because I want to try. And then time to time, some people recommended me, oh, why don't you try this sake? And it's been happening um, three times already. I really, really, you know, I'm thankful for those people because, you know, it got me try some new sake and I really loved it. So if there's any sake that you recommend, please let me know. Cause like, I want to try something new. And if you're still watching this video, um, please subscribe to my channel if you do. I really appreciate and until then, um, please take care and for now, Jane, bye bye.